We're at the uh, National Convention PTG 2024 in Reno and came across a really cool booth here, a uh, piano meter that is a creation of Anthony Willie. And uh, we were just talking about it before starting making this video and he was telling us about it and I was like, okay, this is awesome. This is really impressive. I've been using TuneLab, which is great. I've been using TuneLab for a long, long time. A lot of people use other other software. But this is, this kind of um, solves a lot of, it, it like takes it to the next level. I mean, you're, you're being, you're being very, uh, Modest. Modest. <laughs> but uh, yeah, tell, if you wouldn't mind telling, telling, uh, telling us about what this does. Sure, I mean, like, so, Tune Lab, everybody knows like the side to side stroke and that's locked onto a partial. I've got basically a similar thing here in the middle. So when you, uh, when you play a note, it's, it's showing multiple partials. So like I'll play a three here and you've got partial one, two, three, and four there. And you've got a strobe showing each partial and simultaneously. All, yeah, all at the same time. And your goal is to get the strokes to stop, obviously. Um, but I was just going to show you what you do when you're measuring. How do you, yeah, if, if, before, before moving on, if you wouldn't mind telling me, how do you choose which partial to focus on? I mean, because you can't get them all to stop at the same time. They are actually tuned to the inharmonicity of the piano. So it's not like a traditional strobe tuner. Okay. So they're like each one, there's a target for each partial and they're tuned to that. So the goal is to get them to stop all at the same time. Okay, interesting. Sometimes they won't always do that if the inharmonicity model doesn't quite match what the piano is. Got but it. It's usually pretty close. Okay. And then uh, can, can we talk about, do you mind if I mess up one of the yeah, notes? Yeah, go for it. Okay. So, so if we mess up, let's, let's take, yeah, why don't we actually take this one? And if I watch, okay, watch on here. This is a really cool feature. All of these blue dots. There it goes. Now it thinks it's, uh, it thinks it's an A. So it's updating the A. Now it updated that blue dot. Now I've got to fix that A, update that blue. Okay. So it moves to the line as it gets fixed. Yeah. And you know, they're not meant to be like super accurate. It's just kind of a bird's eye overview of where the piano is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but the, the thing that I've been working hard on for prepping for this convention is the speed. So like typically when you come to a first piano, you, the first thing you do is you measure the inharmonicity of some sample notes. Mm -hmm. And that'll take, you know, about a minute or so. And, you know, you, you do like all the C's or all the A's or whatever. Um, and that, your swipe here, this is the inharmonicity curve. And each one of those blue dots is an inharmonicity for that note. And then the line is kind of the best fit curve that goes through the dots. So when you're starting a new tuning, it's gonna take some time to you know, measure all of those inharmonicities. So let me just do that really quick. Um, I'm gonna do it on this phone because I can kind of follow it and ignore the room noise. So I'm just gonna go new tuning file. Uh, I'm not gonna name it, just continue. And then I'm gonna swipe to the inharmonicity graph. So and I'll just start at A0 and work my way up the piano. there at the top and you can see there are some outliers but they don't really affect the best fit curve 
And this piano is like, you've got, you can see, oh, I don't need to do a pitch raise on this piano. This is just gonna be a touch up. If you needed to do a pitch raise, all the blue dots would be down there. And you're basically ready to tune. Yeah. That is cool. So, so you can test for a pitch raise and just yeah. by playing the notes once. 40 seconds and you've got the entire in harmony curve. And you can leave, like, it'll always listen. So as you tune, it's going to refine that curve. And constantly, constantly, constantly refining listening. the yeah. in harmonicity curve? Yes. Until you push the lock button. That's when you're ready to do your fine tuning and you're okay. like, okay, don't change the don't change my while I'm tuning. In harmonicity. Okay. But so I will usually come in and just, you know, play you know, five notes. Okay, this piano needs a pitch raise. I'll do a pitch raise, let it listen during the pitch raise, and then I'll lock it for the fine tuning. And and so this these blue dots could also be a really handy sales tool for your customer. So you could show them a snapshot of what their piano looks like. Yeah. Before, yeah, and and if their piano hasn't been tuned in 20 years or whatever, all of the blue dots are going to be way down here and just all over the place, uh -huh. and and it's just going to be a mess. And then take a snapshot of that and show your customer, you know, before and the before and after snapshots. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Um, the other thing it really makes clear to the customer is what humidity does to the piano, because mm. like you and I know that like when the humidity drops, the first these break. notes. You know, F3 here on this piano, these these first plain wire strings drop the most. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then there's a little drop up here too. And when the humidity goes up, then those go sharp. Mm -hmm. And you can see that on the graph. You just, you know, sample the piano and you can see that, you know, these notes are 15 cents flat, the rest of the piano is five cents flat. And you can say, hey, this, you know, your piano is doing this. Do you want a damp chaser? Cool. Or anything? I love it. Okay, I'm sold. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take one. Take one. <laughs>